Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Daddy. Bottom left hand corner, we have Whip starting as the yellow Terran. Whip, arguably, I'm trying to think of like the top Terran in North America right now. Whip is in there. Uh, who am I forgetting? Mars. Mars is definitely in there. Nyokin, of course. Artosis, of course. Now that he's back in Canada, it's kind of weird when like Artosis is in Korea. Can you say he's like anyway? Um, trying to think, but anyway, Whip definitely in the upper echelon of Terran players. Uh, in North America. Upper left-hand corner, we have Zen, the tournament organizer, as the blue Protoss. Once again, on Polypoid. Here, I'm going to root for Zen. Whip. Whip is one of those guys that uh, he could... I mean, he's one of those guys who could take Jayun down. Uh, he could also give Striker. Striker's also in this tournament a run for his money. Striker, Whip. Who else is in here? Jayun. All very good players. All guys. Nesh. All guys that could make a run at the finals. I think Jayun is the heavy favorite all the way across, but any of those guys can take game with a, like a solid game plan and playing out of their mind could take Jayun down. Whip, I've seen him in the North American team battles quite often. I feel bad now. I'm trying. I feel like I'm forgetting a North American Terran to say that like he's a top player, and he's maybe they'll get on. Maybe they can get on my case. Maybe you guys can get on my case in the comments and be like this guy. But uh, anyway, I know that there's general complaints about a lack of North. There's something, there's something, maybe it's like they're an absorption field, but it feels like Peru just feels incredible. Gypsy, that's who I'm forgetting. Exit, the other guy I'm forgetting. Thank you, Swa. Swa is actually in chat right now. Yeah, Gypsy, that's, that is the, uh, ooh, whip going for a 12 slash 13 Nexus, by the way, upper left hand corner. Gypsy's the one I was forgetting where I'm like, I can't, I can't forget that one. Gypsy, arguably the best North American Terran, period. Right this second. Zen scouting middle map. And looks like Whip is going to scout bottom right-hand corner as well. So Whip might, or sorry, Zen might get away with this. And Exit's another guy. Exit's a big up-and-comer. I actually think uh, Whip might be a little bit better than Exit right this second. But uh, yeah, I've seen Exit get better and better. He made a showing in BSL. But had kind of a rough start. I uh, expect him to... It's fun because I got to see Exit. Exit's another bad one that I forgot. Because uh, Exit, I w was following all the way through his uh, BSL, earlier BSL Chobo, and then Hasu League runs. And just seeing him get better and better and better and better. So he's one of those guys that's like, I see him coming. A little bit of a battle right there. SV engaging. It looks like there is going to be somewhat a front door seal with this factory for whip he has pulled the scv off so it looks like he is going to in fact go for economic or he's planning on going for an economic economic play thank you for the sub by the way patch random which is an amazing name for someone following brood war both protoss gateways fielding the initial two zealots looks like it's not going to be the uh forge every once in a while i see the forge defense and yeah whip already building that command center without the scout, so going to be playing economically behind the probe. Ooh, needs to be careful, doesn't get pinned in. But spots the factory, sees that the factory's glowing, so knows that there's an initial vulture at the very least. Vultures micro very well against the zealots, so cybernetic score warping in. One pylon in the way. We'll see if there's additional pylons to help, because that first... Well, so the probe sacrificing its life, going to die there, but does buy a little bit of time. And now comes the tough defense, a shield battery being dropped for whip, but that might buy time to get those dragoons out. This is why oftentimes you see potentially a forge follow up because these zealots are going to have, you can just micro vultures infinitely versus zealots and wow, whip not even bothering, just going straight in, trying to get some probe shots, backing a little bit off. So the zealots trying to get some energy and able to split the difference. Nice micro from Whip. One probe kill already. The Dragoon's on the way. Range also upgrading behind this. Honestly, this might be a situation where Whip might just want to pull these probes all the way back to the main momentarily until the Dragoons are out there. But never mind. Good probe blockade. Able to get the kill. Loses three, but could have been a lot worse. Siege tank coming out. Mines being upgraded. Command center floating. Whip still going to be economically behind, however, with a quick starter. Because that Nexus can now double produce, and that's still 
not landed, SCV wiped out in the main, does confirm Cybernetics course spinning. And Whip now setting up in a defensive posture, Bunker constructing on the front, Siege Tank behind it, and another Vulture starting to wander out. First Probe, Scout making its way across post mines <laughs> in the post mine era, gets wiped out immediately. Was at least able to confirm that mines are there, so robotics facility. Usually you'll see two gate robo into OBS anyway, but I think that will prevent a skip into robo in between for Zen. And it looks like Whip may be staging up to go ahead and grab second gas plus one weapons. And a second factory also being added on. Just is this full is this Marine gonna get aggressive here? So we got a vulture gonna go ahead and plant a mine here at the twelve o'clock base. To slow down. I'm not sure if this is a miss rally or this is something intentional for Whip. I think that's a miss rally. That Marine gonna back off now. Three vultures towards the front. Dragoons wandering out to engage, and unfortunately for Whip, so he is staging forward. This is really good discipline on Zen's part, moving the Dragoons with knowing there's vultures out there, moving them with the probe to go ahead and potentially grab a quick third. Third gateway being built. Where's the observatory? Observatory being built at the natural expansion. The probe still staging there. Let's see if the vultures can shoot the gap and snipe that probe with a little bit in a scenario where he could do so. Never mind. They're just going to wander straight to the main. Get more probe kills. At least able to get right in and see, okay, that there's three gateways. Not getting a lot else. I feel like Whip's... When I've seen Whip play, I feel like his vulture micro has been... Pretty solid. Two siege tanks at the natural expansion. No third or fourth factory as of yet, so I think Whip does want to try to play this by opting for a third command center. Is also and but right now Zen going to stay economically ahead, so grabbing that third base rapidly. As far as macro goes, looks like Whip was able to keep the three SCVs, or I guess four SCV lead, or four worker worker lead because SCVs. Maybe that's an insult to probes or SCVs, I'm not sure. Comsat station coming online and actually with a yeah, with a solid Comsat sees all of Zen's tech and sees that Citadel of a Dune. So knows that it's going to be Oops. There we go. A move towards three base arbiter play to deal with what he's fielding out. Third factory dropping, science facility already constructing, second armory as well. And so now the question is, is does Whip opt to go for the third 200-200 uh, sort of play, or is he going to be more aggressive and go for that level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, uh, aggressive attack? Plus 1 weapons is online and answering my own question here. Command center being built now for Whip at the 3 o'clock. Yeah, I think he just wants to get in a straight-up macro play Comps adding to see the probe saturation at the third to know whether he needs to really be aggressive with vultures out on the front or if he can just kind of seal himself in and play from there. I think Zen spots this, sees all the movements and grabbing the third. So he's going to go ahead and stage up and grab his fourth. And this is the where it can be very difficult, again, for Protoss players, especially at this level. Is... Uh, having sufficient everything to deal with a Terran who's coming out and just macroing like this. Nine times out of ten. We're dropping another commsat, checking tech. Looks like he is seeing the edge of that Stargate, so knows that the Arbiter Tribunal's on the way. But yeah, it's a, it's a real test of a Protoss' macro to be able to build sufficient troops and have the Arbiter out and get a really solid stasis to be in a position to deal with that uh, Terran level 2 weapons, level 1 armor push. Mine's also out in the distance just in case some bases were being snuck. 12 o'clock base, about halfway finished. A couple pylons being dropped. Whip, actually starting, this is a little bit of an off-timing aggression though, moving forward. So this is well ahead of typical timings. He's going to comsat 4, and I think he's going to test here whether Zen has enough to deal with him. I think upon maybe comsatting and seeing that Nexus at the 4th, feels like he's got sufficient troops 
to maybe just bust this base. So doing a little bit of an attack. I don't know what he saw that drew him back because he didn't get engaged on. But maybe just feeling that, oh yeah, able to draw the vultures. And again, get some bonus kills here. Probes, battle probes. Some nice rounds. Looks like they're going to get one vulture kill at least. Zen with some solid defenses, so loses some probes there. But still not that far behind in the overall worker count. But has done some really solid defenses with just probes boxing in troops here in that rear. Shuttle up. Slew of gateways tacking on. And there's that Arbiter. Now it's, yeah, there's that race. Plus two weapons, plus one armor finishing. And unfortunately, Zen does not have that supply lead, that padding you usually want, of like 10 to 20, or 15, I should say, 15 to 20, 25 supply. And the Arbiter is just now, yeah, the Arbiter's not even there yet. So Whip with pretty good timing. And a lot of troops to work with, starting to angle forward to go ahead and siege Zen's third. Zen attacking from the high ground, that shuttle moving out, looking to get a sell up bomb. There are the vultures hugging those siege tanks. They're very well clumped, but there's not really anything to exploit that. So front siege tank getting a nice bomb. Tanks unseizing from there. Now Zen with that unsiege diving forward. That might've been a big mistake on Whip's part, but it looks like the zealots don't have leg speed and there weren't a lot of zealots to dive in on top of the siege tanks. So the Dragoon line exposed gets wiped out. A Goliath able to walk up and get the shuttle kill as well. And now the Arbiter joining the fray, but does not have enough energy for stasis. So Whip comsat and continuing to peel forward into this base. But Whip eating uh, now speed zealots without a lot of vultures for the follow-up didn't reinforce very well. So gonna drive this attack back. So Zen gonna hold and really did not take a lot of damage. Chasing that army all the way back. I'm not sure if he has stasis upgraded or not. He does have close to enough energy for at least one. Whip with that, going to go ahead and expand to the 6 o'clock location. But Zen with a solid hold. Is still sitting on four bases. The vultures try to angle through. It looks like they want to go ahead and shoot that gap, realizing that the troop count has been thinned. And again, make a dive. Not able... Yeah, going to find nothing here, so they might be able to... Get pinned in here. This probe going to get wiped out. Some good discipline on Whip's part while Zen was going to go try to sneak an additional base. Let's see if Zen can be a... L I haven't seen an observer. Okay, there's the observer. Let's see if he can clear that field and go ahead and take that back right. A Dark Templar managing to make it in the lines there. Create a bit of disruption. Looks like it was compsat and wiped out fairly rapidly, but oh, Zen losing some Dragoons. Mid-map. Supply still about even. Zen needs to find a way to get ahead in that supply count, but Whip, upon seeing all of those Dragoons get wiped out midfield, is going to go for another attack. A cannon's there to support, but there's only a handful of Zealots and a lot of Vultures shooting that gap to go ahead and assault that natural expansion and maybe drop some mines. And create some clearance there. Whip going to go ahead and draw back. And vote as the vultures absolutely decimate the natural expansion. So big win for Whip regardless. And that's allowing it to establish the 6 o'clock base. Usually that's a big trouble for a Terran player. Is being able to take additional expansions. The vulture is actually able to get all the way into the main. Oof. Photon cannon not worked in there yet. So Zen plummeting now in the worker count. Looks like he's got a lot of troops looking for a counterattack. Maybe wanting to attack that third while his main is getting obliterated by these vultures. So this time, yeah, not going to be sufficient defense. First Dragoon out is now diving in. There's a lot of siege tanks there to go ahead and crush what's left of that army. A bit of a stasis. I don't think it's sufficient, though. More comps that being dropped. The third not yet disturbed. And there's dwindling Dragoons to continue and persist in this attack. Yeah, Zen going to GG right there. So nice attempt by Zen. I thought he was going to be able to pull it off, but not quite. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.